Okay, this is Crystal Lax, L-A-X. Um, my callback number is 424-332-6842. I'm putting that out there um, so people can reach me. Regarding this incident, I have lived in California since 1994. I came back when I got really sick because my you know, son was out here, so I had a stroke and a heart attack. And um and I've been having heart problems. So I bought a piece of land. And I mean the land is located in the middle of nowhere. Before you get to in between the Lancaster and Rosemont. So I'm off of Sierra High, Highway and Avenue B, as in Ball, in my RV. And I am having... Men, uh, the other day it was an African man and the Mexican men and the white men in camp around me, literally. This is a 24 hours, seven days a week of her ongoing harassment. Now, I made police reports. I don't know how many police reports can you make about the same thing. And I've contacted the attorney general office and the Department of Justice um, civil rights violation here in the state of California. I also mentioned about my daughter's um, baby dad, Marquis David Eastman, or aka Rico, or I V E Y O, filming production of being illegally placed on this man film and unpaid. So it's like someone grooming you to get comfortable behind a camera. It's like someone forcing you every day to be behind a camera and you don't want to be a part of his camera or his half-ass production crew. Now, I'm being forced. So anyone that sees me on a camera, it is not at my free will or my legal consent. And we are trying to arrest this man and get this man arrested and also a lawsuit coming up against these people that have exploited my name and made money off of Crystal Lachelle Lack's name and hiding behind the computer scene. We want to sniff them out and no longer have them behind a computer scene and making them think that it's okay to do people wrong like this and to get away with it. I mean, the harassment have gotten to a point of me having AFibs every day or every other day. In order, sir, it's like they're trapping themselves, but they can't see their own trap. The desert where I'm located at there's no stores around. There's no, there's only me and Miss Rosie that live on this particular block. That's it. For anyone to come down this street, you know, there's a couple of trucks that I, I regularly see that comes up and down this street. But it's not a slew. It's not an ongoing, busy Avenue B like Sierra Highway would be. You understand? The harassers, indirectly or directly, when I go to the store, when I'm at home, the the video cameras is, is a form of harassing a person, especially when you know that they don't want your video cameras on them inside of their unit and you're doing it anyway. That's aggravating. That's annoying. That's making a person feel threatened about their immediately family. I got grandkids. I got 10 grandchildren. You understand? I got I got children that didn't even give you consent. They also got a lawsuit by itself. You videotaping the whole family. Well, each member have to, have to give you legal consent for you to have them on video. And if you don't have each member legal consent, then they can file a lawsuit complaint up against you and criminal charges up against you and loss of wages because you're using us in a form to make a profit and to make money off of us. So basically, you're looking 
to the lax family. I don't even know how you even got to this cocky and arrogant mode that you look into the laxes like we some kind of modern slaves. And they slave trading us. The laxes. The laxes. That's funny. That's funny. And the only way, and and California, I tried to reach out to the governor's office, and uh, the guy hung up on me. The young white guy hung up on me. He didn't want to hear my voice. I thought that you listened to all United, uh, all California citizens. Well, he hung up on me. He didn't want to hear what I had to say. I'm saying, hey. Hey, we're paying taxes, and we let go a lot of money, of thousands of dollars, that when we go buy things and we go purchase things, that's tax dollars for officers' check. We also put in the pot for them to have a job. And anybody else on the uh, on any type of system, every time when we spend money, that's putting into the pot, the economy. And I'm black, and I can't be heard. I'm I'm telling you, I'm getting a slew of white people around me. And unless you introduce yourself to me, identify because I don't know you. And I have every right to feel that way. I don't understand why you can't see things from my perspective. You are strangers in camping and surrounding me. And I don't know you from Adam to Eve. So now I'm armed with all type of weapons because I am feeling threatened. A person that don't feel threatened would not have to arm themselves. So apparently I'm feeling threatened for myself and my immediately family. They have gotten so carried away with the camera that my daughter, my innocent daughter, Dominique, is sitting at Rikers Island and they find it a drama. It's like they're trying to create these scenarios and trying to produce something that you're a half-ass producer and you're a ghetto producer. And you're about drama. And I and me and my family don't want no partake in any of IVO film production. We want you to leave us alone. And you said that you didn't want Dominique to have your baby. And, and you wanted the abortion to happen. Well, we don't believe in it. We believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. We want you to leave us alone. Marquise, M A R Q. U E S David Eastman Eastman Rico I V E O Y or whatever you want to spell it I V E Y O watches film leave us the hell alone leave our family the hell alone somebody need to catch this man and put this man behind bars Leave us alone. The girl already told you she didn't want to be bothered with you. She raised her baby by herself. Girl, I ain't asked you for a damn thing. We ain't never begged you for anything or your family. Leave us alone. You keep coming over to us this way. What man in his right mind keep bothering the baby mama if she ain't even want child support from your ass? What's wrong with you? You're not married to my daughter. She don't owe you nothing. My grandson, Antonio, gonna be all right? Leave us alone. We don't want to be bothered with you your cousin that's next to you, or that white boy, or those light-skinned girls. And their little white friends, because they got biracial um, people going on uh, in the family. We don't want to be bothered. We ain't never asked you or your family for not one damn dime. We can give a damn about your money. 
We could give a damn about your status. We could give a damn about your opinion. The laxers can give a damn. We're saying IV, IVO or whatever, leave our black family the hell alone. You need to be locked up and be put in jail for criminal activity and the rest of the white people and Mexican because you're part black and Cuban. Y'all asses need to be locked up. The, the sheriff department or the FBI need to do a big sting because you're probably into other things and they need to sit back and get the, where they put you on the news that they don't got at least 50 to 100 got thing of y'all. Because you guys are annoying. You harass people. You bother people. It, it it takes you to come all the way out here to the desert or to connect to your little friends and family out here in the desert to bring the drama around me every day and, 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 to, and to create heart problems and medical problems. And I, and I can sue you for even my medical problems that contribute to all the harassment and the stalking. I can sue you for no wages having me on the camera 24 hours while you make a profit off of your social media. No wages with the Department of Labor. Don't tell me that I can't because I called them. That you're using me like an internet performer and, and you're not paying me. You're not paying Dominique. You didn't pay me. And you didn't pay my son. You didn't pay anybody that you have used on your camera. 